Windows Server 2019 System Administration. Welcome back everybody. I'm Prakash Pradhan, your trainer for this entire series. In today's session, we're going to learn how to deploy desktop background in any OU or any organization. Normally, we feel this necessity or the need in any institution. So let's say it might be schools, it might be colleges, or it can be any institution where you want to have one set of your you know, wallpaper or the desktop, it might be your logo or any picture that you want to have as a one uniform pattern. But normally, every computer user okay every workstation you might have noticed in your organization as well that different desktop or different you know screens we find so many types of wallpaper so many types of your background has been deployed or anyone whatever type of background they would like to install over there or deploy or set up they would like to go for that so that does not seem to be a good so that's why if you would like to have a complete control over the desktop background in your entire organization so this video is going to help you to have a complete control in your entire network infrastructure so that every workstation cap can have only that you know group policy deployed one wallpaper that your organization or you'd like to have them to be displayed in your desktop so without wasting much time so let's see our server set up over here so this is my domain okay now if I show you these are the my clients okay so let's see my clients go to users and computers then we'll go to the computers and definitely it's going to show you these are all my client actually okay now there is a one client turn on right now at this moment this is my Windows 7 now here if I wish to change okay any background any wallpaper that can be done at this moment see it's done so similarly whoever want to uh, have their own images in the wallpaper okay that can be done but now we are going to see how this can be controlled by the system administrator now let's go to the domain controller in order to do that you need to make sure that you have that image so for now for instance or for example i have used one of the image if you see i have one image over here name as a background and this is the image so if i have two open with paint brush it looks like this this is the picture okay the image that i would like to deploy in every workstation's wallpaper now the first thing that you need to do you need to say share this folder to everyone having a read only permission at least okay now see it's a permission everyone read only okay that's good that's done now you need to copy this path of course we are going to need it in future now okay done now if i want to see whether this photo or this picture is being shared via unc to the client or not you'll see that that this picture is already shared okay so let's do this 192.168.50.50 is my domain ip you see background picture is shared okay now this picture we like to deploy via group policy so that none of the client are will be able to change their wallpaper so let's go to the domain to do this rest of the work so first work is to share this image that is already been done okay now we'll go to the group policy now see uh, you might be having different organizations in a different organizations or the OU I mean to say in a different OU okay organizational unit you might be willing to have a different types of images that you like to deploy as a, your desktop wallpaper as for the need of your organization as for the need of your uh, department but over here for the lab session i'm going to deploy this okay deploy wallpaper by default to the default domain controllers policy so i'm going to edit it so i'm going to deploy over here only okay now when you deploy the wallpaper okay it's normally done to the user configuration go to the policies expand administrative template okay go to the desktop and see over here desktop sub menu you'll find that desktop wallpaper okay if i double click this enable and it's asking you the path okay the path i copied last time was this but don't forget the picture is inside this folder so i would like to show you now if i go inside the background the picture name is over here having the extension most probably i remember that's a jpg see so this picture name okay this image name or you call the photo name that has to be listed over here that means given the appropriate address and along with the extension don't forget to give the extension now in which order you like to deploy this image in a workstation or your client it might be in the center okay 
might be fit fill anything you want so let's give for our lab session i'm going to select the center so now this image is going to be deployed in every organization that means by default including the domain controller this picture will be deployed as a home page now if i go over here so right now it's not deployed the first thing what you need to do is to update this group policy sometime it might ask you to log off and restart as well so let it update this group policy so by the time it is doing this over here so let's go to the client as well and i'm going to update the group policy over here as well gp update force so let it update and by the time i do believe in the server it's already done this is our dish it's already done now if i try to change the wallpaper see display this personality over here see personalization it will not allow you to change anything see it will not allow you if i again right click personalize i mean to say i said personality it's a personalize so you go to the right click and select the personalize it will not allow you to change anything see because this policy is set to the domain controller as well okay now if i log off this one so let's do this log off and log in then let's see what is going to be deployed and we are also going to hit one command in order to make sure that the policy is being deployed to this server as well as your workstation as well okay so let's log in once again by the time we'll check in a workstation as well otherwise okay let's log in in a domain because we have set this policy to the domain policy as well so let's try to log in over here and we'll check the wallpaper it's been set on a see congratulations successfully it's been deployed see we select it in the center so it's done now if i go to my workstation that means the client computer policy is not set till now personalize still see it's showing so many other that means it's active personalized permission is still given to the client so if i select something else is it changing no it's not changing okay now let's update this once more and then i'm going to see our sub in order to make sure that the policy has been deployed that's a resultant set of policy it's been updated and we'll make sure that the group policy is already deployed to this client pc as well now let's write okay okay let's go to administrative template desktop congratulations see it's already done it's already deployed okay now in order to make it effect okay what you need to do will simply log off and when you log in you'll find that the image is already deployed to this workstation your client so i'm going to connect it i'm going to log in as the same user that i used last time nobody okay it's the same user so you see that wallpaper should be listed over here that means this congratulations it's done successfully it's been deployed one of the most advantage of deploying your desktop background in your in fact so in your large organization is that you will have complete control over the background setting actually otherwise every user can have their own image so that not that may not be you know that might not be your appropriate for any visitor whoever visit in that organization as well okay so it was so easy easy steps if you find it fruitful and useful please do like and subscribe thank you